Hello YouTube, um, today we're going to be installing uh, this piece of software called Apache Guacamole which uh, is a clientless uh, server for RDP, SSH and all that good stuff. So I use this for SSHing into all my machines now and uh, RDPing into the Windows machine I have. Um, and yeah, so I found this really good guide. It's for 18 uh, Ubuntu 18.04 and it's a one install script so you don't have to build anything, compile this, this, that, that, Linux, you know, the way of Linux. But nope, it's just all done with this script. So um, yeah, and then he goes on to show you how to set it up. So we'll be following this today. So first of all, we need to create a new container. So I'm just going to have it as 20142 dv r um as you can see I've already got it set up um Yeah, 8 gigs should be fine. I always give everything at least 2 cores, 5 12 megs. What's going on? 10.10.10.214. Oh, whoops. 10.10.10.1. I'll just set this DHCP. Um, oops, that's 24. And then we can hit start after created and that will start it automatically. Sweet, so that's done. Be starting up. And we can console in and root and then the password I set up and then we can we don't need this one because we're logged in as root so just w get um, and then I have to paste it in Ooh. I'm not sure if these spaces matter um, just delete them anyway so gets nice and fast because this is just a simple script I'm just copying pasting that uh, command makes it a executable and then this runs that executable so here we have to enter in our passwords for our uh, MySQL database so just enter in a password um, this is also the reason I don't even uh, a lot of videos out recently because um, every time I do a video with MySQL and it doesn't have some fancy front end like this uh, the MySQL passwords show up here uh, so you know no, I don't want to be putting out some of my passwords on the internet or whatever so it's just taking it just takes a while to go through and it uh, blank them all out especially as it scrolls um, yeah so I'm just and then you know school schools getting uh, you know, school gets in the way, so yeah. Just wait for this. This is just gonna take a wee bit.
Um, so it's just finished. Uh, it took a wee bit longer than <laughs> a few minutes. But now we can go to the IP address and guacamole. So just it's ten dot ten dot ten dot two one four. Yep, four two one four. This brings up this. Let's just drag this over here. And Gork Admin, Gork Admin. So just copy and paste these in. And yeah, so we're just going to go through. This is uh, what the main page looks like with nothing set up. So. First, we need to create our new user. So what we do, come over to Users, then New User, Username, YouTube. This is uh, what you need. This, These two are optional, and then just tick all these boxes. Um, as you can see, it gives you quite a bit of flexibility with the uh, logins and everything. And if you fill out all this stuff, it will uh, show up in uh, the top right when you log in and stuff. So save that. Then we need to then set up our first connection. So you just gotta make sure the c credentials are all good. So um, actually first I'll do an SSH connection. Um, just because I need to sign out of my other RDP thing. So We basically connections, new connection, um, name, SSH, location. Yep, that's I don't know what that is. I think it's uh, you can put them in folders. Ugh. Yep, uh, SSH. As you can see, you can do uh, RDP, SSH, Telnet, and VNC. So that's pretty cool. You know, managing all types of things. Just two, two. Um, and then parameters, uh, network, so we'll go 10.10.70.1.1, .10 and then authentication, so this is root, and then our password. So I'm just going to log into the host, um, and then display, we will say, green on black, uh, and then hit the save button, uh, we need to, users, And then we hit SSH, click that button. So YouTube is saved as it. And then uncheck uh, from Guac Admin. So it basically checks whatever one you've signed in while you make it. So just make sure that uh, if you're not signed into the correct account, uh, that you uncheck it from the Guac Admin. Oh, I need to. So then we can log out, um, name YouTube, and log in, and then hit SSH, and this should work. Sweet, so we're into, oh, into uh, our host, so, yeah, so now, um, I'll go sign out of my RDP session on my other computer so we can log back into it. And then I'll show you that. Alright, sweet. So to get back to the home screen, you can just do this. Uh, just get rid of that. Just go to that again. And then we can settings, um, users, 
first of all, I'll get rid of uh, this connection because you can't do that from the same account you're on. Can't modify it. But then connections, new connection. We use a RDP. You see, this is my. Uh, this will be my Space Engineer server. Um, um, and then host name. 10.10.10.104, I believe it is. Oh, 103. 103. Port. What's the default? 3389. 3389. This is also, um, you can add uh, uh, two factor authentication to this uh, Apache Guacamole, so it's a great option if you want to be able to RDP into machines remotely without using a VPN or exposing them to the internet because that's pretty pretty dangerous so username um, space engineers and then password um, we need to hit ignore uh, security certificate um, I'm pretty sure Yep, yeah, we need to hit that. Um, it doesn't say in here. This is the one thing I had trouble with. Uh, you need to hit this button, basically, because whenever you log into an RDP session, normally it will come up the first time saying, like, uh, this certificate, uh, this server cannot be trusted. Are you sure you want to log in or whatever? Um, so this is basically the equivalent of hitting yes on that box. So um, unless you've got a uh, setup in a way that doesn't need it, you will need to hit that box to make it work. So then you need to set uh, up this, so uh, 1, 2, 80 by, what did he have his as? 1024, 1024. Uh, you can also use uh, DPI, color depth, we'll just choose true color 32-bit. Uh, um, and all this other stuff you can schedule in if you need to. Uh, so it's quite it's quite in depth. Um, uh, if uh, if you don't hit this button, I'm pretty sure um, it will save on performance, but uh, it will just show back background, not uh, the wallpaper of it. So it's qu it's quite cool uh, how this this all works. So save should be good. So EC we're logged in as the uh, YT account, so it will. Uh, whoops. Uh, oh, it's in users. Um, yes, it will show up under there. So, and then we can go home, and then we should be able to. Hmm. I will check my credentials. Um, and get back to you. Um, so I couldn't get it to work with this. Um, I think it's something to do with my other uh, guacamole uh, being set up um, into it. But uh, this is what it looks like. Um, so you basically click on that and instead of uh, ECH being pulled up, and I'll also show them side by side. So is active connections. Um, but it'll show you. This so this is what I mean about the black background. If I logged into this, it would just be the normal Windows backdrop. Um, but yeah, so this is how I have my Space Engineer set up, server set up too. So um, if you would like to see a video about that, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, and I'll get on to that. Uh, I'm planning on doing a Minecraft video, and as I said, I've got a bunch of other videos. Uh, I've got to edit. Um, just got to edit, but uh, they're going to take some time, and uh, school's getting pretty busy, but uh, yeah, if you did like the video, uh, please leave a like, um, subscribe if you want to see more like these, and uh, see you next time.